Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some hard drives. As you can see in front of me, I have two 2.5 inch laptop hard drives. These are standard mechanical hard drives, uh, and they look pretty similar. However, there is one major fundamental difference, and that is the way it interfaces with the computer itself. So most people are aware that obviously hard drives are used for storage. You can store the operating system on your hard drive, you can store files on your hard drive, all sorts of stuff. Um, but Back in the day, uh, they had a different sort of connector. So obviously you need to plug this guy into your motherboard so that your computer can talk to it and write files to it and read files off of it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and basically the way it connects to your hard drive, or at least in its current sort of formation, is something called SATA. And that's S-A-T-A. -A. And basically it looks like this. Basically you have these sort of like little connectors here. And then, you know, your laptop or your, um, you know, desktop, uh, you know, motherboard would have cables that would plug into these little formations. And, you know, uh, again, I'm not professed to know how the technology actually works, but basically it, you know, these connectors meet up with these other connectors and basically it allows access to the drive. So that's basically how SATA works. All right. Now, long, long time ago, uh, there was a different sort of interface used and that was known as IDE. And now, as you can see, IDE has these really funky looking pegs or pins, if you will, sort of reminiscent of the pins on a CPU. And now this is pretty old technology. SATA has uh, become the standard bearer for uh, hard drive interfaces. But, uh, you know, with hard drives being usable for a very long time, uh, provided that they don't fail, um, you might have a few of these lying around. Now, me, I like to tinker around with older computers. I like old laptops that people throw away and all that sort of stuff because there's a lot of good stuff in there that you can still salvage. You know, I like to take stuff apart and I like to take a look at it and see if there's anything in there that's usable. And one of the things that's almost always usable is the hard drive. This one here is a Hitachi Travel Star and basically it runs at 5400 RPM, so it's on the slower side. Uh, but basically what we're looking at here is it's an 80 gig and it looks like it came out of an Apple computer and uh, it was made in 2004. So we're looking at a hard drive that is literally uh, pushing 18 years old, but it still works and it actually works fairly well. And the reason why I know it works is because I have a little device where I can plug this in and then basically use it with my modern computer because, you know, right now there is no computer that takes IDE drives. It just doesn't exist. How do you get it to work with your modern computers? You buy a enclosure that works specifically with IDE. So what I have here is just a no-name brand uh, sort of aluminum enclosure. Got this off of eBay, fairly cheap. I want to say it was maybe about seven or eight bucks. And uh, it's pretty basic. So, you know, aluminum is fairly cheap, but it's also good at heat dissipation. So that's why you see a lot of these uh, being made out of aluminum, because obviously when this guy is spinning around, it generates some heat. Now, where the magic happens is this little guy here. So this obviously goes into the case just like this. And basically we have an LED indicator light as well as a USB port. Um, but you can see here we've got a circuit board and uh, basically we've got our IDE connector here. So basically what we would do is just to install this guy, we'd basically line these pins up and just push down. like so. You're always going to have a couple pins over on the side here, um, but don't worry about those. Uh, this will work, I promise you. So that's nice and snug. And uh, basically you just slot this guy back in here. It comes with a USB sort of Y cable. So it's USB-A to USB-A. So uh, this guy would be plugged into this port here. 
and then you have your Y cable here. Um, not sure why this is necessary. Um, I think it's because maybe it needs a little bit more power to spin the drive or whatever. Uh, but you know, depending on your computer and how much uh, you know power it supplies through the USB port, you might be able to just get away with one of these guys. But if not, plug in the other one, and it should fire up. Now, like I said, this is a 5400 RPM hard drive. I find that the transfer speeds, even on modern to older devices, uh, is pretty good. It's bulky, obviously, but uh, you know you're putting something that would otherwise find itself in the rubbish bin or the trash or the landfill or whatever uh, to good use. And I mean, look, I keep this in my bag uh, when I go to work, and I mean, I don't work with massive files, so 80 gigabytes is pretty much all I need, and I just transfer files back and forth from work. I mean, I know it's a little bit less convenient than a USB, but I like the idea of essentially repurposing old tech and saving it from essentially an e-waste bin uh, because look you know some of this stuff uh, it's not always guaranteed that it's going to work but if you've got something that does work uh, you might as well put it to good use so if you've got an extra laptop laying around that you never ever use and you're thinking about checking it out maybe open it up and see if there's an ide drive in there and if there is you know, yank it out of there get yourself one of these super cheapo cases off of ebay i'll leave a link down in the description so that you can do it yourself and plug it in and you can uh, essentially salvage this guy uh, I mean, I don't know. Heck, you could probably use it for chia mining or whatever uh, the kids are doing nowadays with these cryptocurrencies. But anyway, um, at the very least, you've got some extra storage. And who doesn't like some extra storage? Uh, but that's going to do it for this video today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Anyway, this is Gizmo Joe signing off.